Hello, everybody, and welcome to your linear algebra review on showing matrices are inverses of each other. My name is Jason, and I work for the Arizona State University Tutoring Centers. Now, uh, what does it mean for two matrices to be inverses of each other? Um, so two matrices are inverses. So let's say we would say that A and B are inverses if um, A times B equals the identity matrix and B times A also equals the identity matrix. So no matter which way you multiply these two matrices together, you get the identity out of it. Uh, remember what the identity matrix is, right? It's, it's a matrix with ones along the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. Right. Um, so there are, there are tons of different quote unquote identity matrices, right? They just depend on how, um, how, uh, how many dimensions you're working with, right? Like you can have the two by two identity matrix. You can have the, the three by three identity matrix. You can have the four by four, the five by five. Um, everyone knows which identity matrix you're working with depending on the dimensions of these guys that you're multiplying, okay? Um, so let's go over some facts about inverses that'll help us in this upcoming problem. Um, so first things first, first fact, uh, only square matrices, matrices have inverses. Okay, so it, it, only matrices that have the same number of rows and the same number of columns have inverses. So you cannot have a matrix that has two rows and three columns have an inverse. It's not possible. Okay, only square matrices have inverses. Uh, second thing. Um, not all matrices are invertible. Are invertible. Not all matrices are invertible. What does invertible mean? Invertible means that a matrix has an inverse. So the inverse, in this case, the inverse of A is B and the inverse of B is A. They are inverses of each other. So we would say that both A and B are invertible matrices because there exists an inverse, okay? So only square matrices are in, uh, have inverses, and even among all the square matrices, not all of those have inverses, only some of them. The ones that do have inverses, we call them obviously invertible, we also call them non-singular. So that's also a word you'll hear thrown around a lot. And um, they mean slightly different things, but for all intents and purposes, they are logically the same thing. Invertible means non-singular, non-singular means invertible, okay? Um, what other facts? Fact number three, uh, inverses are unique. So, so in this case, the inverse of A is B, and that's the only inverse of A. There, there doesn't exist any other matrix that counts as the inverse of A, okay? So as, as soon as you have one inverse of your matrix, that's the only inverse that exists for that matrix. And then the last fact, and this is, this is useful, this is gonna become useful to us in computation. Um, as long as you're dealing with square matrices, so for square matrices, square matrices, uh, it suffices to show uh, only one multiplication. Oh gosh, <laughs> it's close enough. It suffices to show only one multiplication. So what I mean is, um, as if you can show that A times B is the identity, then you've effectively showed it's an inverse, okay? You don't have to show this other step. This other step has to be true, okay? Uh, and, and the same goes the other way around. If you show B times A is the identity, then, then you've shown that they're inverses of each other. So you only need to show one of these two. You don't need to show both of these are true. Showing one is true automatically makes the other one true. And that only works in the case of square matrices, okay? Which is fine because square matrices are the only ones that have inverses, right? Okay, so really we just have to check one multiplication for these, for these examples. That's it, you don't have to check both of them. As long as one is true, the other one is guaranteed to be true um, in the case of square matrices. Cool, 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 cool. So let's hop into it then. Clear all our drawings. So we're trying to show whether or not, um, first of all, these pair of matrices are inverses. 
So what do we do? We're going to multiply them together and we're going to see if we get the identity out of it. So a times b, that is 4, 3, negative 7, 2 times 2 twenty ninths, negative 3 twenty ninths, um, 7 twenty ninths, and 4 twenty ninths, which equals, so again, you do rows by columns, right? Rows by columns. So 4 times 2 twenty ninths is, that's going to be 8 twenty ninths uh, plus 21 twenty ninths. That's our first one. Then our next column gives us negative 12 twenty ninths uh, plus 12 twenty ninths. And then we move on to our next row. So we get negative 14 twenty ninths plus 14 twenty ninths. And then we move on to our last column, gives us uh, 21 twenty ninths um, plus 8 twenty ninths. And we go through and do the math. 8 twenty ninths plus 21 twenty ninths is 29 twenty ninths, which is 1. Uh, negative 12 plus 12 gives us 0. Negative 14 plus 14 gives us 0. 21 plus 8 is 29. 29 twenty ninths is 1. Hey, this is the identity. Woo! So we showed that it works for a times b. The other direction also holds, right? That, that's what I was saying earlier. We only need to show one direction. As long as one direction gives us the identity, um, the other one will automatically also give us the identity which means these two matrices are inverses of each other. So yes, they are in fact inverses. Cool, let's move on to the next one. Clear this off, so this one was a check. So let's try it out, let's do C times D. So we have one fourth, one half, one sixth, and two thirds. It's a terrible looking one half, it's just a squiggly line. There we go, one half, much better, four, negative six, negative two, three. So let's see what happens. Uh, so we take our first row, and we're gonna multiply by our first column. One fourth times four is one, one half times negative two is minus one. Um, we don't really have to go much further than th this first multiplication, right? Because we, we automatically see our, our top left corner is zero. Um, so that's definitely not the identity. So we don't even have to do the rest of the multiplication. Whatever it's gonna end up being, we automatically know it's not going to be the identity just because that top left is not a one. So this one, they are not inverses of each other. And remember, just as it suffices to show one direction gives you the identity, it also suffices to show one direction does not give you the identity um, to show that they're not inverses of each other. Okay, cool. So uh, part B, they are not inverses. So we have one more left. So first one they were, second one they were not. Let's check out our last one, E times F. We're doing three by three. One, one, three, zero, two, four, negative one, one, zero. Times two, negative 1.5, one, two, negative 1.5, two, negative one, one, negative one. So let's do our multiplication. So we start with our first row times our first column. So that's one times two plus one times two plus three times negative one. So two plus two minus three gives us one. Then go to our next column. We have one times negative 1.5, one times negative 1.5, three times one. So negative 1.5 minus 1.5 plus three is zero. And I'll save you the heartache. I, you know, we'll keep doing this seven more times, um, but you're going to end up getting everyone's favorite matrix. Okay, so if you do the multiplication out, you'll end up getting this guy. The identity. And since we showed that it works for E times F, and because these are both square matrices, it also gives us the identity if we do F times E. Therefore, we know that yes, in fact, these are inverses of each other. How exciting. Cool. Um, so in, in upcoming videos, uh, in later videos, we will go over how to find inverses and also how to show if a matrix is in fact invertible, if it has an inverse, right? So that, that's what we'll, we'll be discussing in later videos. Fantastic. Um, so thank you for joining me. Uh, as I mentioned at the beginning, I work for the ASU Tutoring Centers. Um, so if you want more information about the free resources we offer on all four major ASU campuses and online, check out tutoring.asu.edu. Uh, if you want more videos like this that go over specific concepts from your course, or maybe even um, look at uh, previous review sessions we've done for the semester or upcoming review sessions we have for the semester, go ahead and check out this link down there. Uh, again, thank you all for joining me. 
and I hope you have a wonderful day.